So there's one little question on everyone's lips, or if they're texting, it's just on their fingertips. Cause now every conversation has just one theme. What's that question? How's, How's your quarantine? quarantine? Now the answer to this might just depend on what week of quarantine you're in. Week one! Hey guys, how's your quarantine? Well, I'm keeping inside and I'm keeping clean. Doing yoga. Hey, I'm flexible. We. I still talk to my friends. But, but only through a screen. Week two! Hey guys, how's your quarantine? I learned the choreography to Billy Jean and I've buffed my head to a blinding sheen. I converted my kitchen to a potting green. I'm making masks on my mom's old sewing machine. Spent this week mastering the tambourine. Week seven! Hey guys, how's your quarantine? I'm stuck in my house with my sullen teen. I've got a Google alert for the word vaccine. I spent yesterday counting all my beans. I'm making old man Logan fight Wolverine. I became a surgeon, removed my own spleen. I arranged my toys into a little scene. Now they're my subjects and I'm their queen. How about you, man? Are you mentally stable? There's a platypus controlling me. He's underneath the table. Let's kick this thing into another gear. There's one more person from whom we gotta hear. Since there is no more normal, I think it's time for us to hear from Weird Al. Hey, hey Al! Hey, guys. How's your quarantine? Yeah, it's all right. Um, well, great. Yeah. Okay, cool, yeah. Um, I've got to go play D&D. I, I got to get back Bye. to you. Bye. Take it easy. Yeah, Bye, guys. Yeah, same place next week. Yeah, I'll send the Zoom invite. Well, I think that we can skip a lot of exposition. Quarantine, week 10, it's endless repetition. But my sister, she's the one with the vision. She came up with an interesting proposition. She said, Lockdown is really kind of horrible. But we have time now to house train something adorable. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Let's get a quarantine puppy. A little ball of fur. And we don't even him or her. We want a puppy that's playful, but not too manic. And depending on the hair, it could be hypoallergenic. So we filled out applications on a bunch of puppy sites. Research all the breeds. Hey, this one hardly ever bites. This one's easy to train. This one doesn't even shed. Too much puppy information rolling around inside my head. I don't know how to choose. They're all so great. What can I say? This one's only 26 minutes away. Okay. okay. To be honest, this is the longest 26 minutes of our lives. But now, now we, we got, got a quarantine, quarantine puppy. puppy. And let me tell you, he's a beaut. His name is Tofu and he's so tiny and cute. He's a quarantine puppy, just as sweet as he can be. He's a furry new member of our family. He's a furry new member of our family! Word. Dear TikTok, I made this just for you, and I know that it'll surely get a million views. I spent 17 hours on it, making it perfect. TikTok says this is utterly worthless. Fine, I guess I'll just give up, or I'll only film videos off the cuff. I'm not gonna try, gonna be a bit lazy. We're gonna blow this up like crazy. What? I really know what you mean. I had to think about and storyboard every scene. Stayed up all night editing the video, but when I post it, it's only gonna do so-so. So I gotta say it's really unfortunate that the effort is inversely proportionate to the amount of attention that the video gets if I just say, baloney, I get three million hits. Why? I really wanna go berserk, cause I think the algorithm is kind of a jerk. And if it had a mouth, it would be in a smirk, because TikTok, TikTok hates hard work. Yeah, TikTok hates so hard work. So now we've come to the end of our song. Hit a bunch of buttons and prove us wrong. <laughs> you better hit that like button, you better do it. Carolyn Dunton did a post about something she found in the bathroom of a guy that she was hanging around. A lot of people saw something that they just didn't get, so six million of them looked it up on the internet. Shower onions are a thing. No, they're not. You don't know. If he ain't got onions in the shower, then the dude has got to go. They're a thing. It's a myth. No, it's true. You don't have to put onions in the shower, but I would if I were you. I was just on a date, and it was going pretty good. He took me home so that I could see his neighborhood. I wasn't sure if he was just another player till I saw onions in his shower. Damn, that boy has got layers. Shower onions are a thing. No, they're not. Yes, they are. They really are. Though on the surface, I'll admit that it may sound a bit bizarre. They're a thing. No. It's not a scam. Am. But to be fair, you might know that I'm in this trench coat, so this is when you realize that I'm <laughs> a pile of hands. What, the whole time? <laughs> the whole time. <laughs> you know what really grinds my gears? Dan Pobbenmeyer deserves to be known as more than just the Phineas and Ferb guy. Sure, Phineas and Ferb was a great sight to see, but we own at least a quick scroll through his IMDb. Look, I know I'm bringing this up, might sound like a bummer, but his career is longer than that 104-day summer. Hey, Dan, you want to help me out real quick? Sure. 
Yeah, I do do Finn Schmertz and co-created this show And Milo Murphy's Law, in case you didn't already know I worked on Family Guy for six seasons, starting at one I was directing, storyboarding, did your poopy for fun I worked on SpongeBob 2, Bikini Bottom coming at ya Wrote the campfire's long song and drew the half-slinging slasher Hey Arnold, Rocko's Modern Life, Cat Dog 2 Spent seven years in Nick, making cartoons for you Before that I was already making money with Bart On The Simpsons, Homer, Marge, Maggie, Lisa, and Bart Now this list is not complete if you want more than check the wiki, but it's tricky to rhyme a resume. It's tricky, tricky, tricky! So, uh, that's about it. I'm too old for this application. You can tell because I didn't use abbreviation. And sometimes I write that I'm laughing out loud instead of just using LOL. When there's something I don't get in the commentary, have to look it up in the Urban Dictionary. This vernacular is spectacular, but I'm reading it like, what the f And did you see that there? I think that might be worse. I'm a grown adult and I bleep my own verse, but I know there's a bunch of kids on this app, so I'm always watching how I talk. Cause I know they all see me as doofenshmirtz And I'm not trying to court any controversy There are tools I can use if I want to get views But I'm not really trying to shop I'm too old for TikTok Yeah, I'm just a little too far down the road I don't understand the trending sounds or hashtags I can't even zoom in selfie mode I'm too old for TikTok Still I'm addicted to scrolling and posting vids And I'm not angry but I know that Hank Green's young enough to be my kid. I'm too old for TikTok. What you mean? Ain't nobody too old for nothing. Look at you, Dan, you 58 and you stuntin'. You as old as you feel. Age is just a state of mind. TikTok for me is just another way to grind. I'm just a fella out of NYC. Algorithm always says you cannot get by me. And I struggle every day trying to keep up with the trends so that everybody see me on the FYP. And you should see the comments always trying to hurt me. Okay, boomer, what you mean? I'm only 30. But it's all good, Joe. I'll never be jaded. You love TikTok? A millennial made it. Best advice that I've ever been told. You're getting older, you ain't gotta I'm get too old. old for TikTok. Are we? Why? Am I too old just because I got a little kid and a real mortgage and my haircut's mid and I'd rather take a nap instead of spitting a rap and I had to go and Google the definition of cap? Am I too old just because I saw Wizard of Oz on the day it was released and I had to leave cause it reminded me of when I was a teenager and I saw Abe Lincoln's last trip to the theater? Am I too old because I've seen nations fall and he did countless generations calls and somewhere back there along the line, I was there for the dawn of time. I'm too old for TikTok. Yeah, here we go. One, two, one, two, three. Sitting here scrolling through my FYP with the X's, Millennials, and Gen Z. I'm a voiceover artist and I talk real fast, but I feel so old like I'm living in the past. Well, I'm not 52 and still shakes his touch. And Dan's not too old to fight. I'm the black of us. I'm as old as the dinosaurs, but still real clever. I'll get that cool skull crack pull the lever. I wonder I am a mature I dream. And Mufasa's son Simba is really a pain. 10,000 years will give you such a crick in the neck. I'm too old for TikTok. You mean Danny P? This is funny. What you talking about? I'm old. Man, I'm only in my 20s. Kind of cunning because I'm always told I got an old soul in the shows. Cause majority celebs. I don't know. Seth, maybe Lizzo and Charlie D'Amelio. I'm a day millennial. Mrs. Trish two days ago. Huh. Man, I have to admit, when it comes to the tick, kind of feel like I'm at a lesson. My role has been switched, and I learn from the kids, and they sharp as a whiz. See the little geniuses of real life in the years. New slang made me dizzy, and I still don't get it. Hot dogs, cold glizzies. Let the Gen Z's go ahead and take the lead, because my old FYP lets me know I'm, I'm too, too old, old for TikTok. Nothing makes me feel so old and defeated, like when a text goes away before I can read it. All these memes, and I don't know the context. Well, that one I knew. Everybody's moved on. Next, they update the app like every day. Now I can't find where buttons are on the display. And no matter of your content or if you're attractive viewers over 30 just getting distracted you telling us a story how you found yourself Ooh, look at those books they have on their shelf your healthy routine for when you get up no i'm too busy judging how your kitchen's set up don't ask me to dab don't ask me to pop lock i need a nap cuz i'm too old for tiktok oh that's me okay i got you i got you dan here we go yeah i'm too old for tiktok I threw my back out trying to dance, I'm too old yeah. for TikTok. You're lucky that I remembered pants. The truth is, I can't even see yours. I don't have my readers, I shouldn't still be here. I just hate the tweeter, I'm too old. You know, TikTok. I'm too old for TikTok. Okay, at Azers posted this video where he was doing a Duke and Schmerz impersonation and rapping about the show, which I loved. But he called it 
if Doofenshmirtz was a rapper, which I think Doofenshmirtz would take some issue with. Hold up, did you say if Doofenshmirtz was a rapper? That's a FEMA little diss, man, if that is your camper. Did you never watch the show? Cause if you did, you would know. Dr. G's the evil scientist of rhythm and flow. This is one of those times I got to say, beg your pardon. Cause I've been dropping rhymes since you were in kindergarten. You think you got views? Is that why you're trolling me? Pull up a search bar, type in platypus controlling me. Go ahead, I'll wait. <laughs> you just got doofenshmirtzed. Well, I'll be honest, I don't really understand. But I fell down this hill, now I got glue on my hands. And I got records on my fingers. And I just can't stop. Ladies and gentlemen, Vanessa! You can't stop. You got a platypus controlling you. I can't you. stop. That's right, you got a platypus controlling you. Well, let me sum it up. It was a strange set of circumstances. Strange set of circumstances. I fell down the hill and I got glue on my hands Now I got records on my fingers and I just can't stop Don't stop, don't stop Well I would if I was able There's a platypus controlling me He's underneath the table We all got a platypus controlling us We all got a platypus controlling us